Today we will be learning all about the basics of EV3 Mindstorm software and how to program with it. If you haven't already, download the EV3 Mindstorm programming software. Pictured here is the software download available at education.lego.com, which will also be in the description box below. Here are all your download options. Once you download and open the EV3 Mindstorm program file, click here to open a new project. This is your open projects, where you can create new projects or groups of programs. Here you can create a new program, and these are your program properties. You can change their names by double clicking. Next, these are your helpful icons. These icons zoom in and out, and this one resets it to scale. Here is your undo and redo icons. This icon is your save button. This is your comment icon to create comments on your programming, which we will go into more detail about in video 8. The hand icon is to pan, so you can move through your programming easily. The cursor is for selecting specific blocks or areas of the screen for basic programming needs. Finally, this file shows the list of all your programs. Down here is your selection of programming blocks in the six colored tabs. The green tab is your action blocks, the orange tab is your flow blocks, and the yellow tab include all of your sensors. For more advanced programming, the red tab is your data operations, the blue tab is your advanced blocks, and finally, the teal tab is where you can create custom blocks. Here is the brick information and downloading bar. To download, play, or play selected, you have to be connected through Bluetooth or the provided connection cable. The first of the tabs on the left is available bricks which is used to connect to your robot through Bluetooth. The second tab down is port view, which as shown here, is used to see values of motors and sensors. Finally, the third tab shows brick information and has access to settings. Now let's look at the EV3 brick. There are four ports on the first side labeled A, B, C, and D. These are for your motors. This port is called the PC port and is used to connect your brick to your computer using the provided connection cable. Then there are the ports on the other side, labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are for connecting your brick to your sensors. On this last side of the brick, there is a USB and SD slot to download programs to your brick. Now on the top of the brick, the outer buttons are used for navigating your menu. The center button is to select options and run programs. This top button is used to stop your robot while it's running, to go back while in the menu, or to turn off your robot. On the brick menu, there are four tabs. First is Run Recent, which shows your recently run programs. The second one is File Navigation, which is where all the downloaded programs can be found. The third tab is Brick Apps, which shows port views, including which are in use. Finally, the last tab includes your brick setting. To connect to your brick through Bluetooth, go to Settings and down to Bluetooth. Ensure that only Visibility and Bluetooth are selected. If using an iPhone, iPad, or iPod to program through the EV3 apps, ensure that all three options are selected. Then, on your computer, go to your brick information and downloading bar into the Availability Brick section, refresh, and then select your robot name. For iPads, iPods, or iPhones, you can find the robot in your iOS Bluetooth settings of your device. And that's it! There's your introduction to EV3 Mindstorm software and how to use it. Our next video is on the fundamentals of running and driving your robot.